Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to try and teach you the first step in building your Rubik's Cube 3x3. So this is the episode 1 and I'm going to make many others to complete the full cube. So let's get started with the basic information. I'm going to try and go over all the parodies and all the algorithms but if you have any questions or I forget one you can just um, ask me the question on the comments and um, then I'll try and respond as quick as possible. So, first step is you have to know how and where the colors are placed in your cube or on your cube. So, what you always have to remember is that white is opposite yellow, that orange is opposite red, and that blue is opposite green. So, it's really simple, you just have to remember those because it's going to be extremely important for the rest of the cube. So, this cube is um, easier than the 4x4 four four because this is a 3x3. Three three. Because also, the centers are already placed. All the centers are already formed and placed. So no matter what you do, you'll always have the centers in the correct space. Where on the 4x4, four four, you have to build your centers. So. Here, the first thing you need to do is mix up your cube. So, you just mix it up. Okay, so now it's all mixed up. No matter where, whatever side we look at, one, it, it's not going to be the correct face. So, the first step is doing your Rubik's Cube is not to maybe try and do all the sides at the same time, it's to do one side at the same time. And in my case, I like doing the white side because the white side is, for me, one of the easiest because I'm used to doing that. So, first you have to find the side which has the most white pieces, which seems kind of logical. Oh yeah, this cube is extremely logical, so no matter whatever you do, it's always going to have to do something with logic. So, I'm looking around, I'm trying to find it. Okay, so I found it. This side has three white pieces on it, which is a good start because we only have six more pieces to place. So, first of all, we need to kind of look around and find other pieces. So, let's say we found this piece, okay? So, this piece right here is a white piece and a green, okay? So, this is the white and green piece. So, I need to get it up onto this side, okay? So, the piece right here, I need to get up here. So, what you're going to first, the first step you're going to do is turn it so that this piece is facing you. So, in my case, it's facing the opposite the screen. But I'm going to do it so that you guys can see. So, now, if I want to get this one here, okay, where it's, in a way, supposed to go, I need to move this one, this piece here, down somewhere else so that I can place this other green piece up here. So first of all, I'm going to turn away the piece with the white, the, the, the main um, rotation away from where my white piece is. So I'm going to turn it away, okay? Make sure you turn it away in the opposite direction of the rotational face of the other side because if not, when um, let's say you turn it the other way. When you turn this, it's going to end up on top or end up on the bottom. Let's say you turn it like this, then it's going to end up nowhere, basically. It's going to be all screwed up. So make sure you turn it the other way. So you turn it here, okay? So now we have the white piece ending up the other way. Then, what you're going to do, that you're going to bring down this piece, okay? So bring it down. And then, since you already turned away this row, which has the green piece we want, we can just put it back in, and look, there we go. Now, the green piece that we wanted is put right where we want it. So then, we flip this back up, okay? So now, we have four pieces. So it's a good start. We only have five left. So we look around, and we find a whole row of white pieces directly opposite the face we're building on. So this full row has a center piece and two side pieces. 
So what we do is that we're going to flip it one row up, okay? So one row up. So now we've lost one side of the top, one little piece, but we also have this piece here. And in my case, I think the best way to do it is to turn away the piece we turned down. So we turn it away and bring these two pieces up. So now all we have to do is do the same technique for these two pieces here. So we place it under where we want it to be. So I want these two right here. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to place them. So I turn them away from the rotation. And this time, since there's two pieces, I'm going to bring down the whole cube. Well, two rows of the cube. And then just slash it back in. And then look, we only have two white pieces we have to put in. So we look for those white pieces. So it's a corner and a center piece. So we're looking. OK, we found it, OK? We found the piece. So then we do exactly the same technique. We turn away, away from the rotation, bring down the, the, the main frame that we want to place it into, and turn back in. And then there we go. There it is. OK, so now we only have one left. And this is where it kind of gets complicated, because look, the white is on the piece, and it's correctly placed towards this, but it's not. You see, it's correctly placed, but it's not correctly oriented. So we're going to kind of have to de-do our cube or mix it up in a specific way. So first of all, I'm going to have to turn it away. Okay, so turn the top once. And then I'm going to bring down the left side. Bring it down. So now it's here. Okay, and I'm going to turn it away from the rotation of this side. So then once I turn this back in, we still are missing one, but now the corner which is here is not the white corner. The white corner is here, and it has to get up here. So we're going to turn it and turn the cube too, because we always need the white face pointing towards where we want it to be. Okay, That's extremely important, because let's say you want to put this here, because you know that this is white, it will not work because you'll end up having the green on top and not the white on top. So then it's very simple. You turn away from the rotation of this side, and then you turn this side down, and turn this, and turn this back in. And then look, there we go. You build it back, and then look, you have your white face. But are we done? No. The white face is not entirely done because these pieces here are not correctly placed. This is extremely important that you remember this detail because this is a piece you need to remember because the next algorithm will not work for the rest of the cube if you do not have this all in one color. So here it all has to be orange, here it all has to be green. Here it all has to be red, and here it all has to be blue. Okay, so now let's get on. So what we need to do is kind of mix our cube up to get them other places. So you're going to do exactly the same thing, except you're going to kind of have to bring them down. So this one is not correctly placed, this piece right here, because there's two blues here, and this one is green, orange, and white. So you're going to turn down pull away from the rotation of this side and flip this side back up. So now you flip the side back up and this piece is here. We need to find the piece that the area where this one goes. Okay, So we're going to flip it around a bit to find where it goes. So we're going to find move the cube a bit. Okay, we found it. It goes here. This is where the piece we took out from the other side goes, okay? Because this one has to go here. So first of all, we need to find the piece we're missing, okay? So we found the piece that we're missing, and we're going to flip it around to where it needs to go. 
So this piece needs to go up here. So then we do the same technique. We bring this, we turn this away, bring this down, and turn this back in. And then look, we destroyed one white. You see the white moved. But now, if we look at the cube, this piece is correctly placed and we just need to put it in the right orientation and then it's in the great place. So now what we're going to do is do the same thing for all the rest of the pieces of the cube and make sure only to touch these pieces these pieces only if they are not correctly placed. If they are correctly placed just move the corners and you will get the cube done.